everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. I uh, stopped by the the uh, bait and tackle shop the other day, the one that I go to all the time, and um, they have a consignment area, and against the wall was a pile of uh, older tackle boxes. Uh, and one of them caught my eye. One of them was a beautiful, beautiful um, Kennedy tackle box. And uh, Kennedy tackle boxes are very well made boxes. Uh, Kennedy started making tackle boxes in the very early um, 1900s. And what caught my eye was not only the quality of the box, but the condition of this box was just perfect. It was beautiful. It looked like it had, the guy had never used it. It was beautiful. So I I inquired about the box and uh, a fellow in the shop says to me, well, they're for sale, but you gotta take all of them. I said, you mean I gotta I got buy all the tackle boxes? He says, yep, it's a, it's a, you know, a package deal. Well, I didn't really want all of them, <laughs> you know. I mean, there was a couple other kind of cool tackle boxes in there, but um, there was another Kennedy. There was actually two of them, but the other Kennedy, uh, although it was a nice tackle box, uh, uh, showed some, some age to it. So uh, I asked him, how much you want for them, you know? He gave me a really good price. I mean, he gave me a good price on all the boxes. Uh, and then he had a, a cardboard box full of old vintage fishing lures. And I'm poking through those, and I found two of them in there that caught my eye also. So um, one of them was a head and mouse. Uh, leather tail on it and everything else uh, in excellent condition and the other one was a somewhat beat up uh, smaller size jitterbug so I said to him I said I'll tell you what we got a deal I'll buy all those tackle boxes if you throw in these two lures and he said sure sounds like a good deal so uh, he says I even got a, I even got a young man in the in the working in the shop that'll carry all the boxes out to your truck so <laughs> that was icing on the cake you know uh so i loaded up or he loaded up the truck with the with all the tackle boxes i paid them i got my bait which is what i originally went in there to get <laughs> i come home with a tackle box or a truckload of tackle boxes so <laughs> so uh I've got the Kennedy set aside, the one that I originally wanted, and then uh, I'm going to keep the other, the other Kennedy. Uh, um, so I'm going to keep the two Kennedys. Then I started looking at the at the boxes, and there was there was a bunch of very cool old style, you know, single drawer um, metal tackle boxes. Uh, um, one was from the Liberty Company. One was from um, um, J.C. Higgins, you know, Sears and Roebuck. Um, a couple of them are, uh, I can't make out the manufacturer on them. Uh, there was a, a real cool box in there um, from manufacturer that I wasn't familiar with, uh, N.B., and it's old and it's in great shape only problem is it has a lock on it and it's locked and i can't open it without damaging the lock and uh, i give it a little rattle and there's stuff inside it so uh that could turn out to be a treasure chest right there uh so i gotta i gotta figure out how i'm gonna open up the lock it's it's not like you know super difficult I, I just don't want to damage the box so uh, I got that box um, then in in with the metal boxes was was this one here which doesn't look like much uh, I, you know I mean somebody painted over it 
uh, but I'm looking at it, and it's a rather unique box. Uh, it was a designed for a specific. Uh, uh, now it's got a dent in it. <laughs> so it was designed for a specific size lure. All of the trays in it are very small. Uh, so this is going to be one of my restoration projects. Uh, I'm going to strip the paint off, uh, and I'm hoping to keep it the, uh, the original metal, uh, but I might have to paint it. I, I don't know yet. I guess I'll see once I get the paint off it, but that's going to be a, a fun project there. Um, it was, uh, there was a couple of, uh, those inexpensive plastic, uh, uh, tackle boxes that a lot of people had when they were kids. Uh, I scrubbed those up and my wife is going to take those and she's going to put some of her sewing supplies in those. So I found homes for those two. Um, uh, <laughs> mixed in with all the tackle boxes was a toolbox. Uh, and it, it was a decent shape. It wasn't as old as the rest of the boxes. Uh, and uh, I put all my Coleman lantern and stove parts in there. So now I got a nice place to store all of them in one location. So uh, that's uh, the story behind the truckload of tackle boxes. I'll probably... Uh, Give some of them out uh, to friends of mine who collect uh, antique fishing tackle and lures. What a great place uh, to display uh, um, lures, uh, you know, your, your uh, vintage uh, lure collection than in a vintage tackle box, you know. So, uh, anyhow, until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching, and remember... To keep on trucking.